If you ask me, it's one of the greatest stories in college football this year. Jared Verse coming from Albany to Florida State to now everybody already talking about him. Top five in the draft. He joins me now. We got to start with the most important thing. You got the power aid in front of you. We'll get to that in a second because importantly, dude, you're in a commercial. So like, what's the, what's the whole vibe around? Like you getting grief from the teammates about being a TV star now? Like how's everybody uh, giving you a little, little bit of love for that? Uh, so that was my first time doing a commercial for real. And they, they didn't disappoint. You know, <laughs> we went out there a great setup, everything like that. We did the break the rock tradition, which was, that was probably my favorite thing. Like they told me they had an amazing idea for it. And that was, I talked to my strength coaches about it after they saw it. They were like, yeah, that's how you feel. It was just amazing. Because that's just something that we hear for us. That's something like it's a big deal for us. After every game we win, we break the rock. We have a good time with it. The whole team gets hyped up. We do it after camp, after fall camp, after spring ball. We do it at like every chance we get to to have a good time. So when we did that, I was like, great time. But no, yeah, like you said, like I'm partnering with Powerade for the fall football season. You know, it, it's, I'm excited about it, like doing it for the It Takes More campaign, but I'm just excited to be a part of it. I'm excited to be part of it with them and be something that, like, be something they want to be a part of it. I mean, your family is used to seeing you do great things. Are they all going to sit around to watch the commercial for the first time? Like, how is everybody going to watch it coming into the game and, and have, like, a big family moment? Yeah, so most of my family, they uh, we saw they saw it the other day. They saw, like, the uh, Instagram video and the, tic, like, the TikTok videos and the Twitter videos. And my brother was the first one to call me, my brother and my younger sister, and they were like, bro, you're in a Powerade commercial? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and we all got hyped up. We were talking about it for like 20, 30 minutes. They were like, but tell me, like, how, how far was it? I was like, that was too much fun. Because they just made it lighthearted. They made everything fun. It was a good time out there. But I just, I just love it now. So part of what makes this amazing, for anyone that doesn't know, your story now is all over the place, Albany, one school offers you, you're at a small school, maybe people aren't paying attention, and everything is blown up and changed. For you, coming into this year, everybody's talking about you. How do you deal with the pressure that comes with higher expectations? I don't think anyone can have higher expectations than having myself. You know, I always, back at Albany, I knew I was going to be, I was destined to be at the level I'm at now. I was destined to be at the top, to be at the pinnacle. because that's just how my work ethic is. You know, like, I've always been doubted. I've always been on the lower edge of things. And even just like jumping back for the quick second to the power thing, like just always been below, like everybody looked down at me and just like, finally, like it's hard to wake yourself up. But when you get there, it's like, all right, like I deserve all this and I'm going to do everything I can to maintain where I'm at. It's funny to me, though, because a lot of people put on 30, 40 pounds during COVID. It was just usually because they were eating too many chips. You went out, put on 30, 40 pounds of muscle. <laughs> like, how do you stay that focused when everything around you feels like it's in such limbo? Honestly, I'm going to say this. That was in large part to my youngest sister, Maya, because she plays basketball and everything like that. And she's like, I'm seeing this girl, like, she's going out working hard in the garage and everything. I'm like, I'm not going to let my sister work harder than me. Like, we got to work harder than she got bigger, stronger, faster. I'm like, it's like a little competition between me and her. But the whole time, my main thing was just like, I know a lot of people at home sitting down on their butts. They're watching videos. They're just hanging out there playing video games. I was doing all that, but <laughs> I was going to wake out while doing it because I, I wanted to get back to a position where I was at the top, and I didn't like where I was at yet. Yeah, well, you've obviously done it, and it's worked. Now, you go to Florida State where your coach, Mike Norvell, somebody that I interviewed uh, with Game Day a couple of years ago, just has a presence around him, right? Like, But it wasn't the easiest beginning for him at Florida State. Talk to me a little bit about what the culture feels like now. What does it mean to be in that locker room with that coach with this school? When you're in the locker room, it, it genuinely feels like everybody's family. Like, you could put me in a room with any hundred-some people on the team, and I'm like, I, I feel like, like I'm comfortable. I'm talking to my own brothers. Like, these guys are small. You're like, we've gone through a lot in spring ball. A lot of these people were here when Coach first got here, when the record wasn't going well, when everybody had a lot of doubts. And the reason I came here was just like, I'm like a coach. I'm like, hey, Coach, like, what, what, what can you do for me? He's like, I'm never going to give up on you. Like he can't, I told him this. I was like, coach, I can't promise you sacks or anything. I can't do that for you. I can't promise you I'm going to get sacks. I can't promise you I'm going to get tackles. Nothing certain. But he said he just wants my best. And when your coach says that to you, he says that to every player across the board, you buy into someone like that. So you mentioned best. You guys are going to get the best right out of the gates. You're taking on Jaden Daniels, who's a huge Heisman candidate himself. A lot of hype. Do you love having a, a, a week one? Because a lot of – a lot of schools, let's be honest, this comes a little cupcake, right? They go out, they ease into it. You guys are right into it. Is that something you're excited about? 
I'm definitely excited about it. Like LSU, they're a great team. You know, they got an amazing quarterback. The offensive line is very good. You know, their tackles are very good. People I'm going to be going up against. They got Harold Perkins on the defensive side. They got a great defensive line. Like, they have a great team. And I'm excited, like, to see what we've crafted. Like, what we have is a lot of potential on our team. But we put in so much work. I want to see how much work we put in. Like, how much potential can we actually extract from the amount we have? One of the hardest things, though, is enjoying the ride along the way, right, for you to come from where you are to where you are today. Is there a moment when you look at your career so far at Florida State that really stands out as a moment where you looked around and you thought, yeah, I'm making it, like I'm doing what I was meant to do? Honestly, yeah, it was It was against Florida. It was right at the end of the game. We won the game. Everyone's storming the field and everything like that. It's so easy to get caught up in emotion. Like, yeah, we did it. Like, we dominated and everything like that. But I just took a deep breath and I'm like, like I'm looking at, first of all, I'm looking at students jump onto the field. So, like, the first thing you see – but the whole time, I'm just like, like, I really worked so hard to put myself in this position where that wasn't my greatest game, but my team was still able to win. And that's something that in the past, it, like, if I didn't have a great game, I was putting my team in position for that thing to happen. I was like, I really have, like, I'm surrounded by people that if I'm not there, they're going to show up. I was like, this is, like, this is perfect. <laughs> now, when you talk about the fans and you talk about the locker room, it's funny because we can all live in the moment, but when you do what I do and you sit in front of a mic, everybody talks about the future of college football. We hear a lot about where everybody's going and super conferences and realignment and everybody changing around. How do you guys as players just stay focused through all the noise right now that is around college football? Our biggest thing is not like our team specifically is not crafted of a thousand five stars. You know, we're lucky for the guys we have on our team that are five stars, five stars are dogs, but most of us were underranked, under recruited, all doubted. Like nobody wanted us. Nobody was like looking at us heavy and everything like that. And that's just how we are. So that like hype, that noise doesn't really get to us. We just kind of move. We kind of have like horse blinders on. We're looking at one thing and let's watch straight ahead of us. Stick there for a second though, because like let's be real for a second. As much as there was controversy at one point about the transfer portal, like you are where you are because you had the opportunity to transfer, right? Like we're seeing some of this living, breathing things that we're debating about help guys like you that are trying to make the best of your lives as college football players. I think the transfer portal is like an amazing thing because of that. Like you can get, you can do what you do, you know, it gives you time to get bigger, stronger, faster. But at every place there is a ceiling, you know, you can go see, all right, what can I do here? What can I learn here? Cause you all, there's, always a like cap to how much you can learn at one certain place. And at Florida State, like I'm a completely different football player than I've been anywhere else I've ever been. So what's the big thing this year you want to work on, you want to get better at? It was just crafting up my smaller things. Like I've gotten stronger, faster, quicker, my hands like more violent, everything like that. Like that's just a part of being at Florida State. You're going to get better. It's inevitable. Like you, you can try not to. It's going to happen though. No, you guys can <laughs> the biggest thing I've been focusing on is just like the small things like how can I get this much quicker oh if a guy gets in front of me what can I do to do this how can I like counter this because I'm going to go up against a lot of athletic tackles like LSU that you mentioned they have a lot of athletic tackles they got a lot of athletic players so how can I do this just to make sure I get around them and get through them this year with all of the expectations that are quietly on Florida State right like well let's say there's expectations but it's it's still a little bit under where we're talking about like the Alabamas and Georgia all the time like for y'all, how much different does this year coming into it feel than even last year did? Last year, it just felt like, for me personally, it felt like I was trying to prove myself. I was trying to show I belong. I was trying to show, hey, like, this is me. This is what I'm able to do. This is what everyone missed out on except Florida State. Like, you all messed up. Albany helped me get here. Florida State helped me get here. But everybody else messed up. But now it's not about me. Now it's about the team. It's about everybody else. It's about unity. It's about us working together to show Florida State is the top school in the country. And that's just that's how it is for us. We, we just want to show what we're about, what we work towards. So you got the Powerade commercial coming out. We all know it. We're excited. You've got the Powerade in front of you. Let's let a couple of important questions about this. Like, do we identify by flavor or by color? Like, what is it in front of you? Is that just is it is it blue? Like, is that what we're calling? Is that the blue Powerade? Or do you do you give it a flavor? So I'm gonna say it like this: This is the blue Powerade. But when we're talking about the strawberry lemonade or the lemon lime, it's strawberry lemonade and lemon lime. Because those two are different classes of powery. Those are those are that's the top of powery. That's a, that's the top best flavors we're talking about. So for you, obviously, Powerade, a huge part of this. What what excited you about working with Powerade? 
So my mom called me. She gets the first one to tell me about it. My mom calls me. She's like, yeah, Jared, uh, I have a power rating deal for you. And my mom like, plays around me a lot. So she said it like real casually. I was like, oh, yeah, that's cool, mom. Wait, hold on. You said what? <laughs> <laughs> like, everybody knows what power rating is. Like, you know what power rating is. Everybody drinks it. Everybody, like, it's on every like athlete's thing. Like bottles of it, containers of it. We're at power rating school. So we got bottles everywhere. I'm like, power rating deal? Like, what she talking about, mom? Yeah, like, you going to make a question? I'm like, yeah, 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 let's do that. Like, let's do it. But the best part was just like really knowing I worked so hard and I get to be a part of something great, something bigger than me, something that I can help further along and not just myself, but also Perry. Like it's Perry. Like it's simple as that. It's it's an inspiring story, man. I said it earlier. Your story is going to be one of the most talked about in college football. You're also, your usage of the transfer portal, your ability to be where you are with name, image, likeness. You are a living, breathing example of what can be truly successful about, about college football, man. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Best of luck this season. Go kick some butt. Can't wait to watch. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me.